you define the concept of a smart greenhouse remote monitoring system with examples and benefits that automation will bring. Then we will take a look at the different data logging products that ICP Dash USA offers for greenhouse monitoring system. Also, we will briefly touch the included Android and iOS app and SCADA software. ICV Dance was established in 1993. Our headquarters is located in Xinchu, Taiwan. ICV Dance USA was launched in 2001 to support North and South American market. We have over 200 R&D engineers. We work closely with them to add new features to our products, develop new products, and to support our customers. Most of our products are world-house compliant, which means they are lab-free. We have our ISO 9001 certification, which ensure we meet product requirements. The purpose of greenhouse is to control the growing environment. Plants require a limited range of temperature, soil moisture, light, humidity, air, oxygen, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen, and nutrition to grow. Plants also require some types of physical support for woods and plant also depends on prone symbiotic re relationship with fungi and insects to grow and reproduce. The greenhouse covering helps control many of these factors to help increase plant growth and reproduction. A greenhouse can control different variables, including heat, water, light, airflow, and humidity. Heat is attempt to means attempting to prevent freezing or overheating. For example, for tomato and other warm weather vegetables, we assume no growth occur below 50 degrees Fahrenheit or above 86 degrees Fahrenheit. For water, is there is no direct rainfall on soil inside the greenhouse, so irrigation must be provided. Water volume and timing can be controlled to optimize grow. For light, any covering will draw some percentage of light or particular wavelengths of light need to be available to plants. We should have shading that may be beneficial when there is too hot. For airflow and humidity, if the greenhouse is totally enclosed, humidity will increase. And since healthy growing plants are not a net carbon fixer, carbon dioxide will decrease and oxygen will increase. The reverse is also true at light, so carbon dioxide will be increased and oxygen will be decreased during light time. As they digest the food, they may form photosynthesis, but since growth occurs, the net result is decreased carbon dioxide. Nitrogen will also be decreased for nitrogen fixing plants, so decreased airflow may be beneficial to plant growth. There are another greenhouse variables such as pets and pollination. The greenhouse may lock out some potential pests, but may also lock them in the greenhouse 
that actually pro can provide an excellent habitat for plants. So plants is pretty safe for their natural protectors. Insect pollinated plant will need bees for pollination. Wing pollinated plant need wing, even self pollinate plant benefit from being physical also by wind or insect these are types of automated system to help control the environment in the greenhouse for example irrigation shading cooling heating nutrient detoxing, autopex control. For irrigation, can water on regular schedule or when soil falls be low preset moisture level? It will start the irrigation process. For shading, there's a thermos that can control the shade or curve automatically to shade the plant. So thermos that will pretty much control the temperature and shading such as. So it can control the air conditioning system when it's too hot. And it will control the heating system when it's too cold. When the humidity is too low, then it will start the automa automatic missing to raise the humidity. Programmable system that can be automatically spray like the authorizer in public restroom. How much and which types of automated technology we incorporate into greenhouse will largely be a function of cost. Low tech or zero tech is the least expensive, so there's no automation involved. But it also means that you have to do all the work manually with human power. If it gets too hot, you have to manually open or close the greenhouse windows or doors, and you have to you also have to remember to close it or back up in the evening before all the heat is lost. If you don't, you plan and half that will suffer. For this, we also have solution. Is will be the greenhouse control automated te technology. Most of us began the quest for a greenhouse for for the purpose of controlling heat or lack of heat for certain plants. We may only want to control the heat, but we also want to control the water, light, airflow, pests at the same time. The fact that we may be trying to protect our plants from drought but if we don't pay attention we may also let the plants overheat in the greenhouse so we either pay very close attention and adjust everything by hand or we depend on technology to control the greenhouse environment. That's why we need the automated control system. In a control system, it requires sensor to detect environmental condition such as temperature and humidity inside and outside the greenhouse, such as sunshine, wind direction and speed, etc. Second, 
we need I/O to execute command to control fan, shade, net, waterfalls, water walls, liquid flow, and other equipment. Third, we may we need a controller which can analyze and compute to connect those sensors, I/O, electric equipment, and computers. And lastly, HMI or SCADA software to input the control parameter from computer with the ability of database and analyze and remote monitoring. Here is some ICP that's ported which can apply to greenhouse automation system. The DL100 series is our temperature and humidity data logger module. It contains an RS485 communication interface and a LCD display to show a variety of temperature, humidity, and module ID data. The data storage memory can store up to 4,088 temperature and humidity records. The, the data logger utility is included to allow installation, configuration, and display of data in a powerful chart format that can be exported to Excel. DL100 has wide measurement range from negative 20 to 60 degrees Celsius and 0 to 100% relative humidity. DL100P is the high precision version. It has a LCD display to show temperature, humidity, and ID. It is also IP66 water and dust proof, as you see from the, from the picture here. The bottom right is our DL100. It can be installed inside the greenhouse. DL300 series is our CO, CO2, or tem temperature, humidity, dew point data logger. It has a 2.8 inch LCD touchscreen that able to see the real time data locally. Or a, the configuration can also be set from the touchscreen. It also have relay output. You can control alarm from, you can send an alarm to using the relay output. Or you, there's buzzer inside the module that can be also triggered if the CO, CO2 level is too high. Another feature is that comes with Android and iOS apps for real-time access and of data from smartphones. It supports iOS 45, even an PoE interface, and can operate temperature range from 0 to 50 degree. So the DL300 series can connect to the Wi-Fi uh, network and then your, if your smartphone is the same network, you can access the data coming from the DL300 series using the MQTT broker. The IWS4201 CE7 is a Windows CE7 based IndioSoft pack of ICP that is USA. Indiosoft is one of our 
SCADA software. This device has a TFT LCD touchscreen, front panel display, and can be used for HMI and control applications. Interface connectivity types for this device include Gigabit Ethernet, USB port, RS-232, and RS-485. So it can work with remote I.O. such as Ethernet, RS-485, Wi-Fi, and Zigbee. The front panel is Lima 4 or IP65 rated, which means this device can withstand spray the water, extreme dust, and humidity. And it can run under a wide range temperature range from negative 10 to 60 degrees Celsius. The Indusoft is built in for server or PC to have full SCADA systems for large scale application. EC data logger will be the simple solution for HMI. It can be used with available controller and Modbus IO modules. EC data logger support DCOM protocol, Modbus LTU, S key, and Modbus TCP protocol. It is available free of charge for a limited number of packs and needs to be used with at least one ICP desk folder. A license can be purchased for more tech. From Easy Data Logger software, you can maybe a little bit smith more. As you see from the layout, it can display different gauges, or it can display data trend, and able to export to database, SQL database, or export to Excel. Programmable automation controller can also be used in greenhouse automation application. We have different combination of I/O slot modules for pack. IO slot modules can connect to the sensors, valves, relays, buttons, alarms, etc. PAC will be able to monitor and control the IO. In addition, PAC can connect to other Modbus TCP or RTU remote IO module that able to read or write data to Modbus slave modules. As you see from the left side, it has a fuel pack, and the fuel pack can connect to, the, in this case, three different uh, remote I.O. module, and then the remote I.O. module will take the data coming from sensor or files or other I.O.s. And then the, on the pack, it has a screen uh, LCD display, and you can able to see the real time data from the screen. On the right side, as you see, it has a Wise 5801 module that able to take data from i7000 series and able to control the air conditioner light or sprinkler. Also, it has capability to stream that data to internet and you can able to see the data in real time using the con control center from the control center. Finally, we have the IP67 
even as switches that can also be deployed to humid and extreme location so that the system has ability to expand NS205 IP67 is one of them. It is a unmanaged 5 port industrial Ethernet switch with automa automatic NDI or NDIX crossover for plug and play. It supports full duplex IEEE 802.3 and half duplex back pressure flow control and can be operated from 10 to 60 degree. It is fully IP67 rated, it, which is dust proof and waterproof. Please feel free to ask any question you may have. Follow us on Facebook Twitter and Google Plus to get the most updates in industrial automation. don't have passion, I'm gonna finish the webinar today. You, you can always send us an email if you have any questions. Thank you all for attending today. Have a good day.